Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Moon Project. We here at the Moon Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to education, information, inspiration, advice, guidance, and I want to tell you uh, some stories with respect to um, uh, Rabbi uh, Moshe Lieb of Sasov. This is a person who not only loved his fellow Jew, he um, he was able to uh, uh, to learn from every person, no matter what. And I'll give you an example of him learning from any person, no matter what. Um, the Rebbe of Sasov, uh, Rebbe Moshe Lieb, would uh, travel from town to town, from community to community, and gather money um, and collect money. What he would do is he would use this money to ransom um, Jewish prisoners. Um, but on this particular journey, he didn't succeed in getting much money at all. Um, some people refused to give any, and the people who were well off and could afford to give should have given more, but didn't. He came uh, home very rejected, very dejected, and um, he regretted having wasted time traveling around. Uh, he could have spent it uh, staying at home studying Torah, praying, and he said, that's it, from now on, I'm not going to do this anymore, I'm not, I'm not going to collect money for ransom, nobody cares, I failed, I didn't succeed. The same day, there was a knock on the door, and someone said a Jew was caught stealing from somebody's home an article of clothing or something like that. He didn't get away with it, they got the, the stuff back, but they gave him a sound beating. He was, they beat the tar out of him. And he was thrown in jail. Immediately, Rabbi Moshe Leave gets up, he goes to the, uh, to the police station, to the courthouse, and intercedes with the judge or the police. And he says, listen, this guy, he, he was caught with his hands in the cookie jar, and um, not only were the goods recovered, he never actually got away with it, but he got a real thrashing and he's, uh, he's learned his lesson. He's been punished enough. You know, please let him go. And he was able to talk uh, the authorities into letting this, uh, this gun of this thief uh, go. So he get to, went to fetch the thief from the jail. And as they were coming out of the jailhouse, he uh, reprimanded the thief. And he said, remember the beating that they gave you. Don't ever do this kind of stuff again. And the thief said in, in a very matter-of-fact way, Why not? And Moshe leaves it. Why not? And he says, yeah, why not? If you don't succeed the first time, you might succeed the next time. You have to keep trying. You can't just give up. If first you don't succeed, you try and try again. Failure in one endeavor doesn't mean you give up. And the thief goes on his merry way. And the Moshele was struck by these words. And he said, if this is the case, and it is the case, then I must keep trying to do my job too. I cannot give up. I cannot be discouraged. And just because I fail, I have to try again and again and again. And he, uh, the next day he sets out to, uh, to raise more money to try and ransom uh, Jewish prisoners. We're going to be doing uh, more stories about Rabbi Moshe Lieb and uh, the other Hasidic masters um, of the past centuries. I hope you're finding them inspiring. Please come back. Please watch, please learn, and until next time, on behalf of the Imuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.